Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. China has recently made a major breakthrough in glass sheet manufacturing technology, while the United States has already taken action on China's RISV chip technology. CCTV exposed a shocking breakthrough in chip technology. The domestic team was able to produce chips on a glass substrate, which is seen as a good opportunity to break the Western silicon substrate monopoly. A professor at the University of Electronic Science and Technology said in an interview that if this opportunity can be seized, it may be the time for Chinese chips to change lanes and overtake. According to media reports, the U.S. Department of Commerce sent a warning letter to Congress saying that they are investigating the widespread use of RISV chip instruction sets by Chinese companies, believing that this will pose a threat and risk to the United States. The U.S. Department of Commerce may even take extreme measures to try to address this potential risk problem. Does the United States really intend to ban RISV technology from China? RISV is the instruction set architecture of chips. It was originally open-sourced by the research and development team of the University of Berkeley in the United States due to a shortage of funds, which means that any individual or team in the world can use it freely. Moreover, the founder of this architecture moved its headquarters to the neutral country of Switzerland out of concern for U.S. control. However, nowadays, the saying that Switzerland is a neutral country seems to have become a joke. Because this country, known as a tax haven, confiscated Russia's $8.8 billion deposits in Switzerland at the beginning of this year and directly compensated Russia's financial assets to Ukraine. What this country, which should have remained neutral and had a high credit, did is no different from robbery. Therefore, the possibility of forcing this architecture to be closed source is not non-existent. Perhaps many people do not understand the importance of the RISV architecture to the independent development of Chinese chips. Intel's x86 architecture dominates the PC chip market, while the mobile ARM architecture is controlled by the British ARM company. For example, Huawei's Kirin chip relies on ARM's authorization. As an open-source architecture with the potential to compete with x86 and ARM, many Chinese companies such as Huawei, Alibaba, ZT, and Tsinghua Unigroup have participated in the activities of the RISV International Foundation. RISV is regarded as the key for Chinese chip companies to break the monopoly of European and American instruction set architectures. The reason for its popularity is that many companies are strongly dissatisfied with the ARM architecture, especially the high licensing fees and completely close characteristics. In addition, against the backdrop of the United States maliciously strengthening chip control, the popularity of the open source architecture risk V has increased significantly. In December 2022, Google adapted the RISV architecture chip on Android 12. And the king of the system, Linux, followed closely to express its support. Domestically, Pingtugu Company has open-sourced its four independently developed Shentai RISV processors which means that anyone can make the same processor as Xiantai for free without paying patent fees. In August last year, RISV Working Committee was established in China, bringing together large companies such as Huawei, Tencent, and Boidu to begin formulating RISV industry standards in China. The ultimate goal is to use the RISV architecture to overcome technical difficulties in the two major fields of servers and desktop computers. The development of science and technology has no borders, 
and those who think that science and technology has no borders are just comforting themselves. Although the RISC-V architecture is open source, there is still a risk of being cut off. The United States intends to hinder the rise of Chinese chips with open source RISC-V technology, and in the first quarter, the output of domestic chips increased significantly by 40%. China's chip team has also conquered the third-generation glass perforation technology, and the reversal of domestic chips cannot be stopped by the United States' small moves. The so-called glass chip is to replace the traditional silicon wafer with a special glass material and perform three-dimensional process packaging on the glass. Punch 1 million holes on a glass substrate of about 1 cm and then use metal to construct the interconnected shape between the circuits. Looking around the world, many old giants are laying out glass substrate technology and China is in a leading position in glass substrate chip manufacturing technology. In March 2024, Samsung of South Korea established a new department bringing together subsidiaries such as Samsung Electronics, Samsung Display and Samsung Electromechanics and has begun to develop glass substrate technology. Samsung's goal is to establish a glass substrate production line by 2024, start production in 2025 and finally achieve mass production in 2026. Therefore, the use of glass for cheap packaging is by no means empty talk, but a work that major manufacturers are steadily advancing. In addition, Intel, the US chip giant, announced in September 2023 that it plans to achieve mass production of glass substrates in 2030, and Japan's Biden, the world's largest substrate supplier, is also actively exploring glass chip substrate technology. It should be noted that these manufacturers are not going to manufacture glass chips, but are preparing to become suppliers of glass substrates and wafers. When silicon-based chips reach their process limits, glass substrates will become the next outlet for chip manufacturing. Compared with silicon substrates, a major breakthrough of glass substrates is that they have overcome the warping and deformation problems of organic substrates, improved the yield rate of chip manufacturing, and can accommodate more transistors. At the same time, they also have obvious advantages in heat dissipation, and the final process cost may be reduced by about 50%. As the West's suppression of Chinese chips intensifies, Chinese chips are solving the problem of mass production of mature processes on the one hand, and actively conquering the advanced processes and materials of chips on the other. Today, the U.S. Department of Commerce plans to strike China on the cheap open-source architecture, and it is still unclear who will win. Imagine what the progress of China's localized chips would be like if Europe and the United States had not blocked Chinese chips.